Congratulations, you are making a video game or you wanna make a video game. That is awesome, that is incredible, welcome to the club. You're gonna learn how to do art, how to program, how to make cool characters, do dialogue. And here in the 21st century, you have all the resources at your disposal to do it all, likely for free, likely all by yourself. But statistically, you probably won't. There's probably a 90% chance that you won't finish the game that you want to make right now, but that leaves you 10%. And if you're here, you're putting in your research, you're watching this video, then you're less likely to be part of that 90%. So congratulations. And the fact that you're watching this shows that to a degree you are motivated. But in a project that will take you at least two years longer than you think it will, motivation doesn't actually matter. In fact, if you're looking for motivation at all, then you're looking for the complete wrong thing. When you're a year into your project, maybe even a month, whenever that first spark of passion runs out, motivation won't be enough. Inspiration won't be enough because those are unreliable emotions that depend on everything around you, how you're feeling, how many other priorities you've got going on, how stressed you feel. And those are important things, but like anything in life, if it's hard and you don't always want to do it and you only do it when you want to, you're not going to do it. So I'm going to give you this instead, all right? Discipline. Discipline is forcing yourself to do something even when it isn't convenient or when you don't want to do it. And I'm not just about to sit here and tell you, okay, make yourself make a game, no. But I have learned some strategies over the years of how to actually get that discipline, keep it, and how to force yourself to do something when you don't want to. Cause that's, cause that's kind of hard. So for game developers where discipline is 80% if not more of it, this is what you need to keep in mind. Number one, balancing the things that you want to do with the things that you have to learn. Game development is a ton of skills, like I said earlier. It's art, programming, music, marketing, whatever, a bunch of things. And odds are that you don't really love doing all of those things. You're probably not passionate about every single one. And so you probably drift towards the things that you do enjoy, which is good. That keeps you motivated. But what did we learn about motivation? So you're inevitably going to have to do things that you don't enjoy, but what you can do is do it segmented with the things you do like. So for example, I really like doing art, but I don't really like coding, which is ironic because I'm a computer science major, but anyway. If I ever make a sprite, I tell myself, okay, if I make this art, I then have to implement it. I have to spend the time to then put it in the game. That way pretty much ensures that I'm getting my little dopamine hit, I'm doing what I wanna do, but I'm also doing something that I wouldn't want to do otherwise. And you could apply that to a whole lot of things. Maybe you really like doing music. Well, it's like, okay, if you're going to make the sound effect for this bush, then you need to make the bush, you know? <laughs> There's a lot of other better ways that I could explain it, but you get the idea. Number two is setting goals, but being smart with setting them. Because you can't just say, okay, I'm going to make art for my game right now. I'm going to I don't know, finish this game by 2025. You've got to follow a recipe and it's the S-M-A-R-T recipe. S stands for specific. You're not just going to make art for your game. No, 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 no. You're going to make the player sprite. You're going to make the third frame of this battle animation. You're going to make the soundtrack for this area. You're going to make the sound effect for this bush. Something specific, something good. M is for measurable. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You either make the art or you don't make the art. You code it or you don't code it, but more importantly, A is for achievable, which means it's actually something realistic that you can feasibly accomplish. R is for relevant, which is the most important one, if I'm being honest. Because when you're making something in your game, you kind of want to have in the back of your brain, why am I doing this specifically right now? Because motivation will tell you, okay, you want to make art. You like making art. Let's go make all the art for your game. But if you want to make a game, you want to make a successful game, you got to be disciplined. And being disciplined means coding when you don't want to. So is it more important to make really cool animations or is it more important to get the actual gameplay down right now? Make sure that what you're doing and what you're setting a goal specifically to do is a logical next step to enhancing your gameplay. Because above all else, Gameplay is the most important part, and I can make a whole video about that, which I'll do another time, but for now, that's what it means. But T is for time, time measuring? Time bound, time bound. You wanna set an actual schedule, and even if it's just like, oh, I'm gonna have this done by Saturday, that's good, that's all you need. Because if you tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna have the dialogue system in this game done by Wednesday, then in your brain, you're gonna be like, okay, on Monday, I need to start watching a tutorial. Tuesday, I'm gonna do some art for the UI. And then Wednesday, I can put it all together and it should be good. Just having that general timeline in your brain helps so much, even if it's not something super concrete. Keeping it general, but keeping it there is gonna keep you much more disciplined to actually do it. And the more you set those goals and attain them, the more it becomes a habit 
See where I'm going with this? That's what the whole discipline thing is about. Number three is connecting yourself to some sort of community. Telling other people about your game doesn't just hold you accountable to the game, but it also helps you feel a lot more motivated and therefore disciplined because other people are seeing it. You have something to share. The thing about games is that you finish it when you're finished with it. And so if you don't have any sort of freckle of recognition reward before then, it's gonna be really hard to stay with it. Even just like showing friends what you're doing, having a group of people who are interested, right? There's so many game development Discord servers. If you're a student, see if your school has a game development club, especially college, oh my gosh, amazing. Or even making a social media account where you can show people this is what you're doing and this is how it's going so far. You should definitely only do that after your game reaches a certain point because otherwise it can kind of have reverse effect. But you get the idea here that endorsing your brain with those little hits of dopamine that it gets from recognition is gonna make it so much much nicer of a process and it's gonna be really cool because you'll meet a lot of cool people. There's always my discord server in the description. Lots of cool game devs in there, but anyway. Number four is tracking your achievements. You're not gonna see a lot of the progress that you actually do towards your game in the game because so much of game development is learning. You're following tutorials on coding. You're learning how to even begin doing pixel art. And a lot of that stuff isn't gonna be final in your eventual game. And so when you look back, it can feel like, damn, I haven't made any progress and I've been at this for like six months. This is why I encourage you to keep a list of every little thing that you do every day for your game. That was one of the best things that I ever did, is on my OneNote, which I used to organize all my game dev stuff, I had a list of everything that I did for every day. Whether it was like, oh, I followed this tutorial, oh, I made this player sprite. Even if it was the tiniest little thing, looking back on that list was so nice because it felt like, okay, I've spent six months on this, but it hasn't been useless because look at everything that I've learned. There are some amazing services out there now that let you do it all visually, connect like a whole web together. I think Trello is a popular one. I don't really know too much about them, but there's some amazing services that make that process so much easier. So keep track of the stuff that you're doing to remind yourself that you can be disciplined, especially if you're keeping a list of everything that you do every day. If you miss a day, it's gonna be really unsatisfying, so. Number five, visualize the outcome of your goals. Visualization is ambition's most powerful tool. You don't wanna fantasize too much, but thinking about what this game would mean for your life. And I'm not just talking like, okay, visualize making a lot of money and I don't know, being a successful game dev, that's important too. But think of how much the quality of what you're making is gonna get better if you can stay disciplined in your learning right now. If you keep learning how to do pixel art, you're gonna get better at pixel art. That's gonna be so cool. If you keep putting in the time to design your game and brainstorm, then you're gonna have some really cool ideas. Like the type of thing that I visualize with this channel is like, okay, if I can somehow make this blow up and I put in the work to do that, then in four years, I might not have to jump straight into the job market after I graduate. And obviously I don't have to make this channel. I could just chill. You don't have to make a game. Your life's gonna go on. But think of how different it could be if you did. Visualize how different it could be if you did. Cause what's gonna get you through all the parts that you don't like about game development, which spoiler alert, is inevitably gonna be a lot of it, is thinking about why it's worth it. Why are you making this game? What satisfaction is it gonna bring you? Focus on that, visualize that, and it's gonna be a lot easier to make yourself code at two in the morning. Just kidding, that's just me with my computer science homework. Hopefully you don't have to code at two in the morning, but if you are, then remind yourself why it's worth it. I'm dead ass sticking sticky notes above my computer monitor, like remember where you'll be in four years if you stick with this. Really like cheesy stuff that I probably shouldn't need, but it helps and any little step you can take, just do it. A lot of the things that I just said take a lot of extra effort, right? They probably don't sound the most fun. It takes time to consciously set goals. It takes time to track your progress. It takes time to work into a community and to do things that you don't wanna do. But that's what discipline is, right? Discipline isn't always fun. Game development isn't always fun. It's really hard. If everyone could do it, then everyone would. I don't mean to be pessimistic in saying that, oh, most of you will fail, right? I'm not trying to gatekeep or be weird, but it's just the reality in that most startups fail, most restaurants fail, most games fail, it kind of makes sense. But the common denominator there is that they all are things that come from people, and people are highly volatile creatures that will allow their outside influences, how much they enjoy it, their passion, whatever, to impact their work. And when you're truly dedicated to something, you gotta remind yourself what it's for, because it's not always gonna be amazing. But with that being said, you can do it because you watched this video, you got the goals, you hit the subscribe button. And if you want any support, I highly recommend you drop your game in the comments, what you're working on. Maybe you can find people who also want support in a community, promote it on my Discord server, hit me up about it. I'd love to check it out because you can do it. All right, bye.